So you go, anyway, you going to the Olympics? Am I going to the Olympics? Yeah, the Winter Olympics. Yeah. Shit. No. Fuck that shit. You, I'll, I'm going to the summer ones in Brazil. The summer. You're going to what in Brazil? The Summer Olympics 2016 in Brazil. Oh, nice. You but I'm fun. not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm doing that, but I'm not fuck 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 going to Russia and fucking a car bomb blowing my fucking right ear lobe off. I mean, these mother, you see those those girls they're talking about? They're no joke. No, they're not playing around, dude. They're 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 yeah, like. Yeah, I mean they're they're, they're going to blow some shit up. And I'm going to tell you right now, as an Olympic athlete, that's something you train your whole entire life for. I might strongly be reconsidering that. Yeah, I just it's just crazy, it's man. Just, it's it's got to be a little... like I don't understand how somebody thinks that's normal. Like, hey, cool, you guys are coming to my country, I'm going to blow you up. Yeah, it's just, just they just want to start shit. So I'm like, you know what, man, that shit's just crazy. I hope that they have security out the ass and I, and and they make nothing bad happens over there. Well, this but, is I mean, also the, this because, is also the same. Putin is sitting there telling people, as long as the gays stay away from the kids, we'll be all right. I I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't think crazy. gays were pedophiles. Like those are two totally different things. Yeah, and, you know, and that's the thing, man. Like I I, I think you know the one thing where. I feel like I mean I don't know how the IOC handles it when countries and cities bid to have to host the Olympics. To me, you know, if your country or your leader at the time has a problem with any anybody's color, anybody's you know choice of uh, you know sexual preferences, religion, anything like that, you know, if you just can't be completely diplomatic across the board to all types of people of the world, then I I think you gotta you gotta say okay as the committee say. Do we want to have the fucking Olympics here? No, it's a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's a little late at this point. Yeah, it's a little late for that shit because it's happening, and you know everybody. I just mean, look at it this way. Sure I mean, fucking... the crane, the, uh, one of the cranes collapsed in Brazil while they're building your soccer stadium, so you can go watch your summer yeah. Olympics because the guy worked for thirty six hours straight. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, it's it's crazy. I was to what it does for a city and the whole economics of the city is, is crazy you can't imagine it because you know I, I would go out to salt lake city and then drive up through park park city um back when my son was really young he lived there when he's four so i would go out there before he came here with me and uh i remember that the you know salt lake city won the bid for the uh the the, the winter games in 2002 and this was in i was going out there in 96 six years before the olympics mm -hmm. they, but they were already changing the entire infrastructure of that town they were building new roads and everything just to prepare because there's like okay we're going to be the stage you know the stage for the world and everybody from around the world is going to be coming here to see the winter olympics they had to build roads so people could get to park city where the, you got it up in the mountains and they were having the ski you know the ski events and stuff it just brought so much money and attention to that city and so when a, a city wins at they're like holy shit this will make us a city yeah, this will the, make us the, a, a one, the one thing that a lot of people don't know is once the olympics are gone those buildings and everything that gets built usually just fall to pieces because the the host city has no more use for them where salt lake city no. they've turned in they actually turn that into the olympic training ground for our winter athletes but like right. when yeah, the games when the games were in china Dude, if you go if yeah. you go and look at uh, pictures of those uh, buildings and whatnot now, they're just overgrown with weeds and everything else. They they were never used again. Yeah, and I had a friend that was just in Italy and you know, were traveling, and they were like, you know, you could see some of that stuff from the Olympics from Rimini. I, I, I believe it was Rimini uh, when they had the games there. That's just sitting there, not being used. Yeah, you know, so it's it's funny. It's but it's anyway, weird. guys, we're gonna yeah, it is weird because <laughs> it's like a fucking abandoned amusement park and shit, you know. <laughs> But uh, in that, in anyway, that, what uh, Michael Jackson's place was like? Kinda, kinda. Never, never land. Whatever the hell, I don't mm -hmm. know. Who the fuck knows? That Peter Pan shit. Anyway, mm -hmm. thoughts and comments below. We are out of here. I'm fucking taking off vacation, so I ain't gonna see you fucking you you people for a while. But uh, uh, we will be in touch. We will be in touch. <laughs> We will be in touch. Come, that come, sounds scary. We will be in touch come 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 Monday, February third. Yikes. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Later.